Hi everyone, in this quick video we'll take a look at how you can install Apache Spark 2.0 using pre-built packages. In a previous video I've already covered how you can install Spark uh, from source code. Um, you can take a look at one of my previous videos or there's a description in the link below and you can see how you can install from source code if uh, that's your preferred route. However, in this video I'm gonna cover how you can install Spark in the quickest possible way to set up a dev machine um, using the pre-built packages. The steps are fairly straightforward. Um, so I'm assuming that um, you have an environment with Java already installed. So I'm not covering the Java installation in this video. But, uh, but the real steps are basically straightforward. It's uh, one, we need to download Spark and extract it to a folder of your choice. Make sure that um, the required binary file paths are included. And then finally, we'll run Spark, uh, do a simple Spark shell, and uh, verify if Spark's been installed successfully. So that's uh, really simple and straightforward. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, to make sure that uh, you have Java installed. So do a Java version and um, verify that you have Java installed. If not, um, suggest that uh, you install Java first before proceeding. So since I've already got Java installed on this environment, I'm going to proceed with uh, the, the steps. So the first thing is to download Spark 2.0. So head over to spark.apache.org and uh, find the downloads page. And in the downloads page at uh, this point of time when the video is recorded, uh, the latest version is 2.0.1 uh, and um, the corresponding Hadoop version, which I'm going to be based off the pre-build type is uh, for 2.7. Um, again, the, um, depending on your environment, you might even offer a 2.6. Uh, so as I mentioned in a previous video, I've covered how you can uh, build um, Apache Spark from source code. However, for uh, keeping this uh, approach really simple, going for the one of the pre-built um, uh, package type, that's uh, Hadoop 2.7, and uh, click on download. I've already downloaded um, the the file in advance, so um, you might want to pause the video and download the file first. So now that um, we have the files downloaded, um, so I have it right here, so that's uh, Spark 2.0.1. Um, so we need to extract the file, so let's uh, tar that, untar, XBF Spark and uh, I'm going to put that um, in my home directory. Uh, again, you might decide to put it in a different folder. That's totally up to you. So now if I go to the home directory, uh, again, uh, I've got spark 2.0.1. Uh, you can see it's extracted. Uh, again, just as an FYI, I've also um, got uh, 1.6 um, uh, install on the same machine running side by side. Uh, However, you don't of course need both versions, uh, but um, just FYI on my machine I, I've also got 1.6 and just now we have extracted uh, 2.0 here. Uh, so one of the things I, 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 I always like to do is uh, instead of um, setting the paths uh, directly against um, uh, the folder that I've extracted because um, I might want to run multiple versions of Spark. Uh, so what I typically like to do is uh, create a symbolic link to that folder so that in my path and everywhere else I just refer to the symbolic link. Uh, so the way you can do that if you're not familiar with is uh, you can create a link, uh, a symbolic link, uh, uh, which is for Spark 2.0 and let's just uh, call it uh, Spark Spark. All right. So if I do a list now, you can see I've uh, got a link here, and uh, here you can see that uh, the link points to um, the Spark 2.0.1. Uh, and now we can um, again make sure that you're in your home directory, and um, we need to edit bash rc file. Uh, so sudo nano. And in my case, just before I do that. Um, in my case, of course, I've uh, gone to my home directory, which is uh, home Melvin, and uh, under that we have Spark. So let me just uh, copy that and edit bash rc. Uh, go all the way to the bottom. And here we need to 
um, set the path and also uh, we need to set uh, the the spark home uh, again the spark home and path both are optional but it's always a good idea to set spark home uh, and of course um, adding the spark binaries in the path is helpful um, so that's what we'll do next so export uh, spark home uh, you may remember I've uh, copied so I can just put that there and put spark yeah and uh, we need to also add that to the path now so export um, path is equal to path we'll just uh, append with the spark home so that's spark home and uh, within uh, the spark directory we have the bin folder so let's just go there so cd spark uh, and here you can see that we have a bin folder let's uh, where we have all the spark binary files so that's um, uh, bin spark shell uh, yep so that's the uh, we need to add the bin and uh, again it, you can also add the uh, sbin but um, i'm keeping things really simple for now uh, let's just add only these two and uh, save uh, save modified yes and uh, to make sure that the changes from your bash rc are uh, put into effect without having to restart uh, your machine you can just run bash rc like this and uh, let's quickly verify that um, it's all it's all good so let's see the path um, so sure enough um, because we have run bash rc um, you can see that it's added to the path so that's uh, that's it for step two and finally step three is to verify that spark is uh, working fine so since it's added to the path you can directly run the spark submit or spark shell uh, directly here so spark oops, uh, shell so again you may remember that uh, since I've added a symbolic link it's uh, now pointing to spark 2.0 um, like midway through if I wanted to shift back to 1.6 and do some uh, you know uh, testing slash development uh, and then keep switching between uh, different versions of spark uh, having a symbolic link really makes it um, a lot more convenient again it's just a common best practice all right so that's a good sign so it's showing you that uh, uh, you have spark 2.0.1 running so let's just run a quick test so well x is equal to spark context dot parallelize one two say a hundred and let's just collect that x dot yeah Alright, so good. It's uh, it's showing us that uh, we could write a simple uh, example to run uh, Spark. So that covers it for this video. So in summary, we have um, taken really simple steps to install Apache Spark 2.0 uh, for setting up a dev cluster. So hope you like the video, and uh, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Cheers, bye.